Yeah, I want to talk about the collaboration aspects. Right, right, yeah, absolutely. The second project is a, is a project where you are producing another artist. And both of these projects actually have a lot of collaboration in them. The first one, um, you are required to use live musicians other than yourself, including you need to do a session, you need to do your basic tracking session with at least three people. Right. So you've either got to figure out a way to make your project studio work for, you know, to record three people at the same time, mm -hmm. or, you know, make friends with somebody who has a, you know, or maybe you and a friend put together your gear, or you can go rent studio time if you want, you can barter, you can do, you know, whatever you need to. But we really feel in, in mp &E here at Berkeley that, that the collaboration aspects and the complexity of recording at least three people at the same time on a session mm -hmm. is something that you really need to do. You're going to learn so much from that, you know, right. uh, rather than just sequencing and doing it at home in your bedroom. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, and sure, maybe you could make that sound exactly like the record, too, and that would be great. Yeah. But you're going to learn so much by the collaborative aspects of this, you know. Um, then the second project is a project where you uh, collaborate with another artist. Now this can be a band, this can be a singer-songwriter, this could be a rapper, mm -hmm. um, but you are actually going to collaborate with another artist. We call it the Original Artist Single Project. Okay. And so what you're going to do at first is you're going to get together with them, you're going to go through all their material, you're going to whittle it down to three songs, you're going to make simple work tape demos of those three songs with them. Uh, you're going to choose the one song that you're going to do as the single. Yeah. You're going to try and work with them to strengthen the material, to really, you know, bring out the best mm -hmm. things that you can in that material and work with them to bring out the best performances. Uh, you're going to do a, a, a much more full-blown demo of that track and then you're going to record it and try always, I mean, we're going to hold you to a professional standard, sure. you know, a professional standard of let's make something that's really going to hold water, let's, that's going to uh, convey emotion, that's going to meet professional standards, mm -hmm. um, and is going to be an effective, you know, record that people would want to actually pay money yeah. to, 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 to purchase. Um, it's, you know, record production is, is one of the more challenging art forms in that you know, if, if you're a songwriter, you need to know how to write good songs. You know, mm -hmm. if you're a singer, you need to know how to sing well. If you're a guitar player, you need to know how to play guitar well. If you're a record producer, you need to know all those things, mm -hmm. you know, plus the engineering and the technical side of it. But then you also need to be able to convince your songwriter that, you know, actually this would be more effective, you know, or, right. you know, figure out ways of collaborating with them to really engender trust. You know, it really is all about trust, you know. Um, figuring out how you can really get on the same page with, with another human artist yeah. and collaborate with them in such a way that you can take them to a level that they couldn't have gotten to themselves. And that's really what this course is about, is about there's a lot of very specific tools that we go through, there is pre-production meetings, there are a lot of ideas on how to, sp just, just to take one for, for example, um, one, of the, one of the things that, uh, uh, that we do is, is a, is a pre-production you know, activity with your artist. Something I've found really useful for years is as soon as I sign on to produce an artist, um, we'll go to the art museum together. And we just go and we walk around the art museum and we just talk about what it is we're seeing. And, you know, we have fabulous art museums here in Boston. So, you know, it always, you know, engenders amazing conversation about art, about life, about all these aspects, apart from their music. Mm -hmm. And I learn so much about what makes them tick as an artist. I, f I learn their vocabulary, which again makes them comfortable then when I'm speaking their language, you know, when we're actually in the thick of it, you know, working on their material and, and working in the studio. If I can express things in a way that they're going to understand what I'm saying and not think that I'm just trying to, you know, do something to get them to sell out and sell more records, you yeah, know, which is yeah. where you don't want it to go. Right. Um, so there's a lot of 
of uh, psychology <laughs> in this course, really. Um, and there is a lot of uh, just exploring this whole avenue of collaboration with other artists. Because yeah. even if you know, even if you're a songwriter and you want to be an artist yourself, and you you know produce your own beats. Um, you're going to be in a position um, once things start happening for you. Uh, Carmen's a good example. You know, sure. now they're working with, they're collaborating with all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. You know, with Dr. Luke and with, uh, you know, just I mean, they're, you know, they're in there collaborating with people right. all the time, every day. And collaboration is such a huge part of anybody's career. Um, you know, nobody really does it entirely alone. We do have these tools where you can do a lot alone now, mm -hmm. but the goal really is to kind of get to that place where you're not doing it alone.